Hi everyone. Today we will see the calculation of IHD, index of hydrogen deficiency by using a simple formula. And we will also discuss what is the role of this IHD in structural elucidation. What is use of this index of hydrogen deficiency? We have already seen that IHD indicates a degree of unsaturation. And this is more important uh, when we are going to identify the structure of the unknown compounds with known molecular formula. For example, we have a compound with molecular formula like C6H12. Then what is the structure of this compound? This can be identified by taking the IHD value. So if we compare this compound with the saturated compound C6H14, then the number of hydrogens less are two hydrogens. So the index of hydrogen deficiency IHD value will be 2 by 2 that is equal to 1. The compound with molecular formula C6H12 is having a index of hydrogen deficiency as 1. So this indicates that the compound is either having one cyclic ring otherwise it is having one pi bond. So in this way just by seeing the IHD value we can assess whether the structure is having any pi bonds or cyclic rings. And just by observing the molecular formula, we can draw so many structures for this molecular formula. So suppose uh, this molecular formula corresponds to cyclohexane, which is again C6H12. Similarly, this molecular formula also corresponds to the methyl cyclopentane. Otherwise, it is maybe ethyl cyclobutane. So in this way, we can write so many types of compounds uh, for a given molecular formula. But you can see that in all of these uh, compounds, one point is common all these structures are having one ring so that's why they are having a IHD value as one whenever we know the IHD value we can have few of the features of the structure if IHD value is one the structure may have either a cyclic ring or a pi bond similarly if a compound is having the IHD value as two it indicates that it is having either two pi bonds or two cyclic rings otherwise it may have one cyclic ring and one pi bond in this way we can use the IHD value in order to assess the structural features of the compounds. For example, here in this compound we got the IHD value as 1. So we have seen the different uh, cyclic structures. But when the IHD value is 1, the structure may also have a pi bond. So we can also write another structure for this molecular formula. So in this way, whenever a IHD value is known, we can say that whether a pi bond is present or cyclic ring system is present or not. Now let us see the molecules with the heteroatoms and how we can calculate the IHD value. Till now we have seen the compounds with the molecular formula having carbon and hydrogen. But if it is having the heteroatoms like the nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, halogens, then how we can calculate the IHD value. So let us take one example here C2H7N. So here N is the nitrogen which is a heteroatom. Then if we compare this molecular formula with a saturated alkane compound having two carbons, so then it will be C2H6. Now what is the difference between the hydrogens? You can observe that the sample is having the one hydrogen extra compared with the saturated compound. Till now we have seen that hydrogens are going to be lost, but here hydrogen is going to be gained in this compound. How this is possible? So this is possible because of presence of heteroatoms. Now again just by seeing the molecular formula we can write few of the structures for this compound. For example it is a C2H7N means it may be like a ethyl amine. Otherwise it may be a compound with a dimethyl amine. So whatever may be the structure both of these structures are having the saturation and no pi bonds. So the IHD value can be written as 0. So for compound with this molecular formula IHD value will be 0. But it is not an easy task to write the possible structures for a given molecular formula and to check whether it is having a cyclic ring or presence of pi bonds. So we should have some easy method in order to calculate the IHD value whenever the molecular formula is given along with the heteroatoms. This can be achieved by taking a corrected molecular formula for a corresponding saturated compound having heteroatoms. Now let us see the corrected molecular formula for a saturated compound having heteroatoms. So if the molecule is having the heteroatoms like the nitrogen, halogens and oxygen, then what will be the correction for the molecular formula? Nitrogen is present in the group 5 of the periodic table. So the elements present in the group 5 like the nitrogen, phosphorus, if they are present in the compound, then we have to increase the number of hydrogens by plus 1. 
similarly the halogens which belong to the group 7 if they are present in the molecule we have to decrease the number of hydrogens by minus 1 and finally if the molecule is having the oxygen which is belonging to the group 6 so any elements in the group 6 like the oxygen sulfur are present then we should not change any number of hydrogens uh, within the molecular formula so just by making a correction now we can calculate the IHT value so whenever nitrogen is present plus 1 halogens are present minus 1 and oxygen is present no change now let us calculate the IHT value for the previous example C2H7N so here saturated molecular formula having two carbons is the C2H6 but because the nitrogen is present we have to increase the number of hydrogens by plus one so it becomes C2H6 plus one that means C2H7 so now the saturated molecular formula is having C2H7 so the difference between the hydrogens between the given sample as well as the saturated compound is zero that means the index of hydrogen deficiency is zero so all we have seen that IHD value is zero for this compound so which can be easily observed by taking the corrected molecular formula for the saturated compound similarly let us take another example C4H9Cl so here again the corresponding saturated compound will have a molecular formula of C4 H10 but because of presence of halogens whenever halogens are present we have to detect the number of hydrogens by 1 so C4 H10 minus 1 so that is nothing but C4 H9 so again the difference between the hydrogens within the sample compared with the saturated molecular formula is again 0 so IHD value will be 0 so C4 H9 Cl simply indicates it's a butyl chloride again you can see in the butyl chloride there is no pi bond and it is not a cyclic structure so IHD value will be 0 similarly if you take C3 H8O which is having the oxygen now if we compare with the corresponding saturated molecular formula C3 H8 and since the presence of oxygen will not produce any change in the number of hydrogens so we can add plus 0 so this is nothing but simply C3 H8 therefore the difference between the hydrogens is again 0 and here again the IHD value is 0 so C3H8 0 simply indicates it may be a propanol or it may be a methyl ethyl ether so water may be the compound again they are uh, not having any pi bonds and uh, they are not cyclic structure so IHD value is 0 similarly let us take another example a molecule with the molecular formula C2H4O so if we see the molecular formula of the saturated compound it will be C2H6 but here we have to apply the correction the correction for the oxygen is 0 so we have to apply the 0 so simply it is C2H6 again and now the difference between the hydrogens is minus 2 so which indicates the IHD value as 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 that means this compound is having IHD value as 1 that means it may have either a cyclic compound or it may ha have a pi bond because here two carbons are there it is not a cyclic compound so it will have a pi bond and we can just simply see that this is nothing but the acetaldehyde so in the acetaldehyde we can observe the carbonyl group which is having the pi bond and because of the presence of pi bond the IHD value is 1 now let us see a simple formula for calculation of the IHD value for a compound having the heteroatoms and whose molecular formula is going to be given for example let us take a compound is having a molecular formula like this so it is having the elements like the carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and halogens and the number of corresponding elements are indicated by the letter C, H, N, O, X respectively. If we compare this uh, molecular formula with the saturated molecular formula C, N, H, 2, N plus 2. But because it is having the heteroatoms, we have to correct this uh, saturated molecular formula. So here the number of carbons is equal to N which is equal to the C value because we have to compare the molecular formula of the sample with the saturated uh, compound having same number of carbons so here the n value simply indicates the the number of carbons which is nothing but c and similarly number of hydrogens is equal to 2n plus 2 which is nothing but 2c plus 2 where c is the number of carbons present in the given sample and now let us see the corrections because the nitrogen is present so for every nitrogen atom present we have to make a correction of plus 1 so for n nitrogens the correction will be plus n 
similarly for oxygen there is no need of any correction and for halogens for every atom of halogen we have to detect the number of hydrogens by minus 1 so since here x halogens are there so the correction will be minus x so by applying these corrections so here the number of hydrogens already it is having this is the 2c plus 2 so 2c plus 2 plus n minus x so these are the total number of hydrogens present in the corrected saturated molecular formula if we compare this with the number of hydrogens present in the given sample the given sample is having h number of hydrogens and if you take the difference which is divided by 2 it will give ihd value so here ihd value is equal to 2c plus 2 plus n minus x minus h by 2 so here simply the ihd value is the number of corrected hydrogens minus the hydrogens present in the sample by 2 in order to understand this let us take one example here let us take again the previous example c2h7n and here already we have seen that the ihd value is zero for this compound let us apply the simple formula and check whether we will get the ihd values zero or not so we know the simple formula ihd is equal to 2c plus 2 plus n minus x minus h by 2 so here the number of carbons are 2 so it will be 2 into 2 plus 2 plus the number of nitrogens is 1 minus there is no halogens so halogen is 0 and minus the number of hydrogens are 7 so 2 into 2 plus 2 plus 1 minus 7 by 2 which is nothing but 7 minus 7 by 2 which gives the 0 value so IHD value for this compound by using the simple molecular formula is also gives 0 in this way whenever a compound is having a heteroatoms and a molecular formula is given and its structure is unknown then we can use this simple formula for calculation of the IHD value so that's about the significance of IHD and calculation of IHD by using a simple formula if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends and post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video